We've been talking about iOS 16 for a while. There are other videos here on the channel about it, but there are several features that I highly recommend you use. In today's video, I'm going to list my favorite ones. But before I get started, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this type of content and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Set App is an incredible cross-platform suite which gives you access to over 200 iOS and macOS applications without any additional cost. You only need to pay for your subscription and choose the apps that you would like to use. Now, a great benefit is that you can start a free trial when you use my affiliate link listed down below in the description. So starting off, many people are not aware, but there's kind of like a hidden widget that you can use on your lock screen right above the clock. To add it, this widget, the only thing that you need to do is press and hold on the lock screen to edit it, then press on customize lock screen. And right here, as you can see, you can add it this area. So press here and now you can choose one of the widgets that are listed here. Of course, the majority of them are from Apple applications, but there are also third party apps that allow you to use widgets um, right here. So I could put My Fitness Spell, NordVPN, Reminders, Stocks. I really like to have the weather conditions, so I'm going to leave the way it is. But just be aware that you have more options right here. You are not limited to this type of widget. Then the only thing you need to do is press done and that's it. Next, there is a satisfying setting that I recommend you enable, of course, if you also like it. So make sure you go to settings, press on sounds and haptics, go down, press on keyboard feedback and right here, enable haptic. With this feature enabled, every time you type, your iPhone vibrates a little bit. So that's why I'm saying it's satisfying to use because I do think it is. I talked about this feature in a different video already. It was even, um, I was even talking about saving battery life because yes, this feature, if it's enabled, it will drain more battery life. However, if you like it, I recommend you use it. Don't disable features that you like just because of battery life. You can always disable something that you don't really need or you don't really care about. So enable haptic if you like to have the vibration whenever you're typing. Okay iOS 16 also has a new feature that allows you to remove the subject from photos and it is very easy to do and I'm always surprised with how well it works. So the only thing that you need to do is press and hold on the subject and as you can see there's a line going around Leo which is my cat. He's perfect. <laughs> so there's a line going around him. And now the only thing that I need to do to remove him from the photo and basically erase the background is either copy and paste it somewhere. I can share it directly um, from here or I can drag and drop him anywhere. And that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna drag, open another application so I will open notes and drop it here. And I just said that I'm always surprised with how well it works because look around him, like all of the hair, everything looks really good. Sometimes I have like bad experiences with the portrait mode, for example, and I thought it would work kind of the same, but I think it works better than portrait mode. So let me know what you think. And if you're not using this feature, start using it because it's really nice. Now, iOS 16 also has a new way for you to delete duplicate images. So the only thing that you need to do is open the Photos app, then press on Albums, go all the way down, and right here, there's a Duplicates folder. Press on it, and as you can see, I can, um, it shows all of the duplicate images that I have. Then to delete them, I only need to select all the ones that I want to delete and press on the trash icon. 
If by any chance this album is not showing up for you, it's because you don't have duplicates at the moment, so you don't have to worry about it. Now, before iOS 16, you did have the ability to share a password with one of your contacts, but you didn't have the option to view it. Now, on iOS 16, you do. So if you need to copy and paste your password somewhere, or if you need to actually look at it and type somewhere, there's an easy way for you to do this now. So open the Wi-Fi settings, then press on the information icon right here. And as you can see, there is a password area. Simply tap on it. It will ask for your face ID or password, and it will immediately show you your password. Next, feature number six is for you that like to take a lot of screenshots because now on iOS 16, you can rename a screenshot. To take a screenshot, simply press on the power button and the volume up button. Then you're gonna press tap on it to open it. And if you tap to share it, you now have the option to rename it. So let's say that you took a screenshot of a product that you're wanting to purchase or a recipe, you can put the name of this product or the name of the recipe right here. And then if you um, try to look up for it, look for it on the photos app, it will um, be easier and it will show you the exact screenshot. So I could type here, it's just a lock screen. So I'm going to, um, the home screen. So I'm going to put home screen submit and as you can see the name is already changed i will delete this screenshot because i don't need it at the moment and now we're going to open the health application ios 16 now allows you to schedule and get reminders for when it's time for you to take your medication or your vitamin anything like that the only thing that you need to do is of course open the health app then press on browse um, medications and right here you have an option to add medication tap on it then you can add the name i'm gonna put test press on next here you can choose the form. I'm gonna put capsule, press on next again. You have the option to add the strength. I'm gonna put like two milligrams. Next. And here you can choose the frequency. So let's say that you need to take a medication every day at 4 p.m. You can put every day right here and then you add a time. So let's put 4 p.m and tap on next. Here you can personalize it even more. So again, choose the shape, you can change the color, you can even change the background right here. I'm gonna put the purple, tap on next again. And as you can see, it will remind me every day at 4 p.m. to take one capsule of this medication. You have um, a section here to add notes if you need, put another uh, name for it. So uh, press done and there you have it. This is very convenient and I remember that a few years ago I had to take a few medications uh, throughout the day so I had to download a third-party app for it. So I really like that now we have the ability to do this on the health app. Okay, now we're going to change it up a bit and we're going to talk about translation. Feature number eight is that live text now supports translations. So let's open the camera app and I'm going to point this to this text right here. This is the live text icon. We will press on it. And of course, you can copy and paste this text somewhere, you can select and everything. But what we're gonna do here is press on this arrow and translate. It automatically translates to Portuguese, so it says manuais for manuals. You could change the language to whatever language you would like. You can use text um, 
from a different language also, so you could translate from Portuguese to English, for example. You can favorite this translation or you can open in translate. If you're trying to translate only one word, I think it's a lot easier for you to just do whatever I just did. So just open the camera application and translate it using the live text feature. But there is another feature that I recommend you use and I'm gonna open the translate app for that. So here, if you're trying to translate a full page of a book, for example, or if you're trying to translate more information, make sure you press on the camera icon and now you're going to take a picture. So now look at this magic. It automatically translates everything that is showing here on the package. It automatically translates to Portuguese. So if we zoom in, look, MagSafe é uma marca comercial da Apple, so it translates everything for me. So imagine if you're traveling and you want to translate a sign or you want to translate a menu. This is very convenient and I'm really surprised with how well it works. And last but not least, feature number 10 is that you can now fill your lock screen with the album that you're currently listening to. So let me play something right here on Spotify. Let's play this. Now I'm going to lock my iPhone. And as you can see, it's just showing me the album in this small, kind of like a notification, right? But if you want, you can tap on the album icon and fill your lock screen with it. So see that it also changed to the background. My wallpaper is not showing anymore. You have this full page showing the album. So if you like to leave your iPhone on a stand, for example, it is a better way for you to see what you're listening to. I really like this. I think it looks nice. And if by any chance you don't like it, you can simply tap on the album again that it goes back to the small notification. And these are the iOS 16 features that you must use. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.